Well, as I'm sure you know by now, Yu Peng Chen has decided to leave uh, Hoyo Mix and MiHoYo and venture on to do his own thing, which I have major respect and props to him for. It's a very exciting thing. In this official message that he left on his Billy Billy account on September 12th, he said, Sorry to disturb everyone. According to the arrangements of some of my personal creative plans, after a period of careful consideration and several exchanges with the company, I chose to leave MiHoYo and the Hoyo Mix team to continue pursuing my music dream seeing the composing students and the hoyo mix team continue to grow seeing genshin impact music moving forward step by step fontaine music is really good and recalling the support and help the company and colleagues gave me during the music production process it really is the best thing another unforgettable memory i sincerely ask everyone to understand and respect my choice in the future i will continue to explore the music path plan to release a new album of personal pure music works next year specific plans will be announced in the future and i hope you will continue to support me of creation from now on i will continue to visit tevat with everyone as a traveler and understandably so this has caused a great ripple effect of disturbance and worry and and confusion and oh no will the music be in good hands and i think the answer of course is yes i think that this is a new beginning for genshin it's a bittersweet because of course we need incredible modern composers in the world making beautiful music i will continue to shout to the rooftops how important his music is in the evolution and modernization and bringing classical music to the forefront of many people's ears that that maybe would never even have considered classical music to be a viable or valid thing for them to listen to. And Yu Peng Chen's music did just that to millions and millions of people. I have to say that, you know, this game fell on my radar when it first came out and I said, oh cool, wow, Genshin Impact. And then I never really touched it again. I played it for about a couple minutes to put it down and said, that's nice. But when I started this channel about a year and a half ago, what I discovered was that Genshin music was exactly what I was looking for, for modern opera compositions. And I found it in Genshin Impact. Of course, I found it with La Signora's theme. And that started a journey for me personally that has been incredibly moving. And so I also personally feel that I owe very, very much to Yu Peng Chen and the Hoyo Mix team, of course, but I'm very grateful for the opportunity that Yu Peng Chen has given me, Marco Meatball, to talk about his music and to talk about the music of Genshin Impact, which I will continue to do for the foreseeable future. So I really am just grateful that this music has reached so many people. And for those of you that might be concerned about Genshin Impact's musical future, I think we're in very good hands. I found an amazing Reddit post by user famas1234 that went into incredible detail that you should check out over on the Genshin Impact subreddit that talks about the difference between an arranger and a composer. Yu Peng Chen obviously has a huge volume of tracks that he has composed and arranged. However, there are plenty of other composers working on Genshin Impact that will absolutely be continuing that musical landscape that we know and love. So even though, yes, Yu Peng Chen is moving on and working on other projects, we can't deny that there is a whole team at Hoyo Mix working specifically on Genshin Impact that we've heard before. And I think that those folks are going to take this torch and usher us into a new era of Genshin Impact. We've already heard it with Fontaine, none of it apparently being composed by Yu Peng Chen, as far as I know. And um, they're all great tracks, as far as I'm concerned. I was immensely happy with the music of Genshin Impact and Fontaine 4.0. In fact, I even talked about it in a video that you can check out here. But let's listen to some of my absolute favorite tracks composed and arranged by Yu Peng Chen.
Of course, we cannot deny how amazing that piece is. That uses a traditional orchestration, and yet we throw in that electric guitar, we throw in this incredible opera singing. It's one of the first pieces on that. It's the it's the first piece that I ever listened to from Genshin Impact that made me realize, oh, there is something to this game that goes way beyond uh, what I originally thought and expected of the game. And certainly, I think that it is so smart in the way that we choose, in the way that we navigate the use of the soprano soloist. It is a modern, classical, fresh take on uh, something really, really old and yet it sounds completely new and fresh much in the same way that a piece like this also is so old and yet so new I mean, again, we take something so ancient, like these traditional Japanese instruments, and we literally create trap music with them. We don't add EDM, we don't add any sort of like synthesizer. We take traditional instruments and somehow we put them in a rhythmic pattern that would exist at a dance hall in the modern era. That is just... <sighs> But, you know, we've been talking about battle themes, obviously. We've had a boss battle theme, we've had this battle theme, but, you know, we can also slow it down. And this is some, one, of the, one of the other amazing things about Yu Peng Chen is that every piece, whether it's fast or slow, evokes an amazing feeling in us. And this is a perfect example of that.
I love that playful bouncing so much. It's amazing in two minutes the, the the joy that we can feel listening to a piece of music and the serenity and peacefulness that can come over us, but also the excitement about, you know, uh, taking on the day, right? I mean, that's like a pretty simple theme that comes out of nowhere, and it just, uh, it's so satisfying. Of course, for Minazuma, there's also the land of her serenity, which is such a stark, beautiful piece. <laughs> Or in Sumeru for riddles for wonders. is so incredible so while yes it is incredibly somber bittersweet and wonderful that such a fantastic composer is going off to do their own thing and leaving behind something that is dear and dear to all of us we really should just be so excited for what's to come for us as players but also for maestro yu peng chen because he is still shifting the way classical music and music in general is listened to and heard 
there are many of us that started playing Genshin because of the music. And that is very profound. So I'll leave you with this one. Symphony of Boreal Wind. Thank you so much, Yu Peng Chen. Appreciate it. See you.